Okay guys, so I'm just gonna quickly try to explain what HTTP requests are. So in our code, we're often gonna have a front end and a back end when it starts to get complicated with data and such. So the way that code interacts with each other, the way the front end and the back end code interact with each other is through something called HTTP requests. And you've probably seen HTTP well, you obviously have seen HTTP at this point when you're in your web browser. So it's pretty simple. So what we're doing is we're just getting or uploading, posting from a domain. So as you can see, we have example.com slash API slash auth slash get account details. So this is what we're sending to the server, an HTTP request to get account details. So we'll query the backend running something like Node.js Express or Java Spring Boot or PHP Laravel. And then that backend is gonna get those details from whatever kind of database or whatever we're using. And then we're gonna send something called a JSON response generally. That's usually what we'll be sending. There's different things you can send from the backend, but generally a lot of the times you're working with the JSON response. And this is kind of what JSON looks like. And that can have different data that all different kinds of programming languages are gonna understand and be able to parse. So hopefully that makes sense. All we're doing is we're communicating with the backend server to get some kind of data or to upload some kind of data. And this is kind of the main way that we do this in programming. So I'm gonna bring over an application called Postman. And what Postman is, it's just an easy way for us to make these HTTP requests without writing it in code or using the terminal or something. Now there's all different kinds of post requests, but the most common ones that you're gonna run into usually are you have get requests where you're getting some kind of data and you might upload some kind of parameters uh, so that the website knows what you want. You also have post requests where you're uploading some kind of data. So here, if I pull this back up, we can send a JSON object to the server. So maybe even we want to send our credentials. So if we had our username, email, and maybe a password as well, we're gonna send that JSON object to the backend. The backend is gonna process that data, save that user, and then send you back some kind of authentication token. We have patch requests where we're updating data. We have put requests where we're replacing data. And then we have delete requests where we're deleting data, okay? So here I have this, let's just start out with a get request. So I'm gonna open a new one. You can download Postman online and we're just gonna get the main page. So there's not gonna be any like API slash create account or anything. This is just the home page, and this is what I have set up in my backend, okay? So we have a get request. We sent the get request and the server responded with this JSON object. And the only thing it has is success and then hello server. So this is kind of like a key value pair. So our key is success and our value is hello server. So here we have a post request. This is the domain. And then we have slash auth slash create account. And what we're gonna be doing is posting a JSON object. So we have our username, our email, and our password. And if we post that, we send it, it says successfully registered user. And it also sent us a cookie to use for authentication. Although you don't need to worry about that now. But if we went into get data, and so as you can see, we did a get request, for localhost slash data slash get data, and it returned a data key value pair with an array, but the array doesn't have anything in it. So what we can do is go to post. We're gonna post to set data. I'm just gonna set some random data. Okay. So we're gonna go back to the get request and we're gonna send that get request. And as you can see, we got an object called data with an array of my data, ABC, and one, two, three. And these are all strings. So it's a string array. 
And this could be uh, literally, didn't have to be a string one, two, three. It could literally just be an integer one, two, three. Um, but it all depends how you set it up on your backend. So that's kind of what uh, get requests are. Um, you probably, you'll get used to like JSON and everything. You might want to like search up a video of the proper syntax and stuff, but it's super easy. But yeah, that's what HTTP requests are. The main takeaway is it's the way that your front end app communicates with the back end server. And we have different methods of doing that. So we get data, we post data, we patch data, we put data and we delete data. We have these different ones. We're sending our get request to a website with these extra little parameter slash routes here. So hopefully that makes sense, made sense. Uh, like the video if this helps and subscribe if you want more. Peace.